Hey guys and welcome to Geeks 101 once again and this is another part of port forwarding 101 and this time we're gonna check out how to port forward on the Shazam Fast 2404 and let's just check our command prompt as always and I'm gonna type in ipconfig And as you can see here, the default gateway, so that means my router's IP, is 192.168.1.1, so I'm going to make a note of that. And my IP, my static IP, is 192.168.1.25, so I'm going to make a note of that too. Okay, so I want to open up port 42568 and 42569 so let's just close our command prompt and we're going to open up a new Chrome a new browser and I'm going to type in 192.168.1.1 which is my router's IP and here we are on the Shazam interface and it's pretty simple actually and you can find the port forwarding option under the NAT and it's the first option so if you click on this you will see that we are in the virtual server setup and you can see the port forwarded services I have already added so if you want to add another service you just click on the add button and you can see again here that you can select a ready-made service which you know I rarely use because they're really outdated even the games they have in here and stuff but in most of the cases I might use the remote desktop because it's basically in every Windows version the same but for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm gonna just you know click a custom service and make a custom service so geeks101 this is the name and the server IP is my IP which is ending on 25 so I'm gonna type this in and the ports I want to open are 42568 to 69 so 42568 to 42569 I'm gonna click on the TCP and UDP both and then just click on the save apply button and as you can see here these ports are already port forwarded so just go back and you can see here that I have already this service so if I want to remove this because I want to change the name or a port or anything like that, like that because I just you know made a mistake uh, just click on this small box over here check it it says remove and then just click on the remove button and it's gonna be gone so let's say I just made a mistake and I want to open 42568 to 42570. So I'm gonna back go back over here and just click on the add button and click on the custom service geeks one oh one. Gonna add the twenty-five because this is my IP, right? And let's just perform 42568 to 42570. And again, just click on the TCP and UDP and save apply. And as you can see here, we have perforated the Kix 101 service and both the ports, actually three of the ports that we wanted to perform are now open. So this is it. Bye-bye. Take care.